Hey y'all, and welcome to this week's Womanly Wisdom Wednesday, episode 4.1. So in this series, we've been going through The Power of a Praying Wife book by Stormy O'Martian. This book teaches us why and how we should pray for our husbands. Disclaimer, I did not write this book. I am not in any way connected to this book other than I have read it and made my prayer binder based on this book. The content in this podcast is for educational purposes and inspirational and encouragemental purposes. The content in this podcast gives a simple and quick overview on introducing what this book is and what it teaches. Our introduction. Um, This week, we will refresh with what we covered last week and then cover the end of chapter prayer, and then on to our power tools. At the end of the last podcast, we left off with learning that there are two ways the pendulum can swing in regards with our husbands and their work life, lazy or workaholic. We covered scriptures in regards to both sides, but if he's right where he should be, we need to pray that everything continues to run smoothly, that he is where God wants him to be. So moving on, end of chapter prayer. Lord, I pray that you would bless the work of my husband's hands. May his labor bring not only favor, success, and prosperity, but great fulfillment as well. If the work he is doing is not in line with your perfect will for his life, reveal it to him. Show him what he should do differently and guide him down the right path. Give him strength, faith, and a vision for the future so he can rise above any propensity for laziness. May he never run from work out of fear, selfishness, or a desire to avoid responsibility. On the other hand, help him to see what he doesn't have to work himself to death for man's approval or grasp for gains beyond what is a gift from you. Give him the ability to enjoy his success without striving for more. Help him to excel, but free him from the pressure to do so. I pray that you will be the Lord over his work, and may he bring you into every aspect of it. Give him enough confidence in the gifts you've placed him in, or placed him to be able to see. Let's try that again. Give him strength, confident, or give, oh, I'm so sorry. Give him enough confidence in the gifts you've placed in him to be able to seek, find, and do good work. Open up doors of opportunity for him that no man can close. Develop his skills so that they grow more valuable with each passing year. Show me what I can do to encourage him. I pray that his work will be established, secure, successful, satisfying, and financially rewarding. May he not be lagging in diligence, but forever in spirit serving the Lord. Romans twelve eleven, Let him be like a tree planted by the stream of your living waters, which brings forth fruit in due season. May he never wither under pressure, but grow strong and prosper. Psalm 1, 3. Remember, these prayers at the end of the chapters are, for example, you may add to it to customize it as you may need 
for what pertains to you, your husband, husband and you. I'm so tongue tied tonight. And our power tools. First up, Proverbs 22, verse 29 in the Amplified. Do you see a man skillful and experienced in his work? He will stand in honor before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Proverbs 23, verses 4 through 5 in the Amplified. Do not weary yourself with the overwhelming desire to gain wealth. Cease from your own understanding of it. When you set your eyes on wealth, it is suddenly gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies in the heavens. Matthew 16, verse 26. Again, this is from the Amplified. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, wealth, fame, success, oh, but forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Ecclesiastes 10, verse 18 in the Amplified. Through laziness, and or, I'm sorry, through laziness, the rafters of state affairs decay and the roof sags. And through idleness, the roof of the house leaks. That's descriptive. Psalms 90 verse 17 in the Amplified. And let the gracious favor of the Lord our God be on us. Confirm for us the work of our hands. Yes, confirm the work of our hands. That's nice. I, that's not even, that's awesome. You may write down these scriptures and use them as if you're, or, um, to go along with your prayer if you'd like, or meditate on them, do more research on them, read about them, go in depth about them. Consider their context. I'll stop there. <laughs> this concludes this week's episode. Now, I ask that if you do like this podcast, please tap the thumbs up icon so that it may be spread to other people. If you'd like to purchase this book, there is a link in the description box below. Hashtag not sponsored. Until next time, hopefully not as tongue-tied, much love and may peace be with y'all. God bless.